What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video and I know I have been inactive like crazy, I think I uploaded only 3 videos last week on Monday, a video, uh, the giveaway announcement, the uh, live stream on Tuesday and then no videos all the way until Saturday but today I'm back with daily uploads, make sure to smash the like button down below already and I would say let's get started. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to create this awesome uh, TV quiz lower third. So, we're going to start off with the first question. First question is, what is Alex going to ask you to do for this video? A. Like this video. B. Subscribe. C. Share this video. Or D. All of the above. That one is up to you guys. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create this awesome TV quiz lower third. So I would say, make sure to hang tight and I would say, let's get started. Okay guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 15 and like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I was inactive for a few days because I was, again, I was so sick. Because when I feel like crap, I think the content I will make during that period will be crap as well. So I just waited and right now I am back with new videos every single day. So in this video, like you guys have seen, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create an awesome lower third because this one is a requested video as well. So I would say let's get started. So there's only one thing you basically need and that is an image of those uh, of this lower third i will leave the download link in the description if you guys want to check it out and download it for yourself and i'm going to show you guys exactly how to create that awesome lower third all right guys so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to drag an image that i will be that i will make uh, available for download in the description so let me drag in that one real quick okay so right here this is the image i created in photoshop and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to also add in a red background so i actually see what i'm doing so i'm going to go to the media generators tab and we're going to scroll all the way down until you see a solid color I'm gonna drag in just a red image. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and stretch this guy all the way to there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and click on the uh, track motion icon. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna make this bar a little bit bigger. We're gonna place it also a little bit lower like this. We will have the answers below it. Make sure that it is nice and centered like so. So this is basically uh, the, the bar where the question will be. So we're going to move on to the next thing, which is going to be the very first box of the, of the answer, answer A. So what we're going to do is really simple. We're going to just go ahead and right click on this track. We're going to duplicate this one. We're going to go ahead and click on the track motion icon. We're going to make this guy smaller and we're going to put that one underneath it like so. So we will have four places to put, uh, to put the, the boxes. So once we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to still keep duplicating this track. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pick the top one and we're going to make sure that it is nice and aligned like this. So this is basically how you do that. We're going to go ahead and just duplicate it two more times so you can actually place it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and place uh, this guy right here. I think this one looks uh, very, very tight. Then I'm going to also duplicate it one last more time like so. Duplicate track and I'm going to put this guy right below the other guy like so. So we will have four nice boxes uh, touching each other. So we're going to fill in the text right there. So. Let me just adjust this what this guy real quick. So I think this one looks very cool and those are your four boxes for your answers. So what we're going to do then is we're going to go ahead and create uh, all the text. So we're going to go to titles and text. We're going to drag in the default one on top of everything, on top of each track. Then we're going to type in the question. So let's say um, I'm going to go ahead and do it like so. And I'm going to just stretch it all the way until the end. And then what we're going to do is we're going to type in the question. So what is... Alex going to to ask you to do question mark then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the text a little bit smaller because it is pretty big so I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this and then what we're gonna do pretty simple is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drag this guy in this box obviously you could change the font color add in a nice outline and change the font and everything but for the sake of this video I'm not gonna do all those details but you guys know how it rolls so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go ahead and duplicate uh, well not we're gonna duplicate we're gonna copy this one create a new video track like so then go ahead and paste this guy in and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and type in uh, the first answer so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move, remove the text I'm gonna just you know press a and then a dot uh, let's say I'm going to just uh, type in like this video. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and put this guy right here 
in this box nice and easy so now that we have the first answer in there what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and keep creating a new video track keep cut you know pasting uh, the text so we're gonna create for all the answers so this is going to be B B point and then I'm going to just type in uh, subscribe for example like like that then we're gonna just again drag this guy right here make sure that they're, they're, they're nice and aligned like so as you can see that one looks really cool and this is basically what you want to do for the entire clip so I'm gonna keep doing that just press control V like so then I'm gonna just type in the answer that's going to be C which is going to be C dot share this video like so just like all the answers place it nice and aligned underneath each other like so that one looks really really cool copy it and paste it one more time for the final answer and that's going to be d so i'm going to just type in right here just click on d then i'm going to type in d dot and then it's going to be uh all of the above right here we're going to go ahead and do it like so we're going to place this guy again like all the answers in the boxes and this is basically how you create an awesome tv quiz lower third or if you like if you want to do a q a or a question and you want to spice it up a little bit this is how you do it guys so the only thing you need to do is render this out in transparent so what you want to do is remove the background then what you want to do is you're going to select everything because you want to only have the boxes rendered out and not the black background so we're going to go to the file we click on render as and it's going to be really really important so i'm going to also show you how to render this out without any background without black backgrounds at all that's what i did with the intro as well if you, that you guys have seen so we're going to go ahead and we're going to click the quick time we're going to pick this guy uh, the the 3 mbps video we're going to click on customize template and then you want to pay attention to some things right here. So the frame size is going to be high definition, 1920 by 1080. We're going to, the frame rate is going to be 29.977970 NTSC right there. Then the video format is going to be animation. And then the compressed depth is going to be 32 BPP color. And then what you want to do for the last thing is you want to click on project. The video rendering quality, I want to put that one to best. And you can also give this a name, for example, masked, or you can call this transparent, transparent like this. And then you want to just save it, render it out like this, and then you can drag it in into all your future projects. So that's how to do it, guys. This is how you create an awesome TV lower third. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continuous support. I'll see you guys, obviously, tomorrow with a brand new video, and on Wednesday, and on Thursday, and the day after that, obviously, because I'm back with daily uploads. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for still uh, sticking through with me. And that's it. So I'll see you guys, obviously, in tomorrow's tutorial. Just Alex Halford.